Hi, this is David Swanson. I'm the director of World Beyond War, and as you are gathering in Berlin, Germany, I am with many other peace advocates and advocates for war abolition and elimination in Washington, D.C. at American University, and very appreciative to those of you who are going to be watching the live stream video of our conference in Washington and very encouraged by the fact that we are able to do and repeatedly to do significant events for peace in both Germany and the United States together uh, and that we are among other things delivering a petition to both the US and the German governments this week demanding the closure of the Ramstein Air Base I think we are going to be increasingly stronger together as time goes on. Uh, I hope that all of you can join in World Beyond War, uh, which is not a United States organization, but a global organization. Uh, we thank Heinrich for joining the coordinating committee of World Beyond War, and we would like other German peace advocates, activists, to join our coordinating committee, join our other committees, participate as much as you are able in shaping the direction and the progress of World Beyond War. Uh, and those of you who just have time to put your name down, we encourage everyone to go to worldbeyondwar.org and click where it says would you like to end war or do you want to end war, click here uh, and sign your name to the two sentence statement that you want to help end war in the world. Um, I, I think it is very important that we work together, the United States and one of the top stations of US troops around the world ever since the United States has had a permanent army and a permanent military force on the globe, that is since World War II. Germany has been part of it, and the United States has been illegally under international law and under the German Constitution waging war from German soil, uh, waging war around the globe using satellites and communications headquartered on German soil, seeking to dominate the continent of Africa with its Africa Command or AFRICOM headquartered in Germany. Uh, these practices have got to end. They are against the will of the German people. They are against the will of the U.S. public. Uh, they are against international law. They are against human survival. We've got to make a change, and I'm encouraged that we are beginning to build the right sort of movement to communicate that need and to begin working on it. Um, we are Going today, if you're viewing this on Saturday, September 24th, we are going to be having uh, an incredible array of topics and panels and speakers and videos at the conference at American University in Washington, D.C., and we hope you will be catching part of it. But all, all of the conference uh, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the, uh, the workshops, the award ceremonies, the protest Monday morning at the Pentagon. There is going to be video of everything, and we are going to have the videos from the realnews.com live stream of Friday and Saturday up within the next few days to watch at your convenience. Uh, but today, Saturday, I hope you will be able to catch some of our real leaders in World Beyond War, Leah Bolger, who is the chair of our coordinating committee, a former president of Veterans for Peace, a longtime leader in the peace movement, uh, an incredible selfless activist mobilizing people for peace uh, without prejudice for the U.S. government, seeking really a global peace movement. Uh, the same can be said of David Hartso, co-founder with myself of World Beyond War, who really had the idea for this organization. Uh, Patrick Hiller, uh, who really has taken on the biggest job in producing our new book that this conference is organized around, that advocates for alternatives to war, nonviolent means of resolving conflicts, use of the rule of law, of aid, of diplomacy, of cooperation. Uh, Patrick Hiller and Alice Slater, uh, who has uh, been central to World Beyond War and is a uh, uh, a leading advocate for the abolition of war and of nuclear weapons uh, and will be 
uh, heading up a panel on nuclear disarmament. Uh, other speakers coming in will include former Congressman Dennis Kucinich, Kathy Kelly uh, from Voices for Creative Nonviolence, uh, the, uh, w one of the leaders of Nonviolent Peace Force, uh, Mel Duncan, uh, Craig Murray, former UK ambassador to Uzbekistan, who is a whistleblower who exposed British and United States backed torture in Uzbekistan and who had trouble getting a visa to come to the United States. And we had to make a big noise about it uh, and successfully, and they've given him a 10 year visa. Uh, David Vine, who's a professor at American University and uh, will be speaking about closing bases not just in Germany, but around the world. And there are some successes and some movement in some of these cases, uh, and really a global movement building around this particular aspect of scaling back militarism, closing down U.S. military bases. Um, many, many more speakers, including by video, the wonderful Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of the Labor Party and the opposition, and I hope future Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Uh, we need such leaders in other countries, uh, but we need to look to ourselves. We need to look to activists outside broken electoral systems for leadership. Uh, and this is part of where George Jeremy Corbyn has been a leader for years uh, with the Stop the War Coalition, but he also has been in the electoral system in Britain and has managed to make it work. Uh, we need to figure that out in a number of other countries because the United States is as far removed from that as conceivable. Uh, but we are encouraged by your support. We ask you as Germans, kindly, in a spirit of brotherhood and sisterhood, to throw the United States military out of your country, to withdraw your country from NATO, to move your country in the direction of disarmament and diplomacy and friendship with those to your east as well as your west, uh, and to set an example for those of us in the United States and other countries to follow. And we hope to do as much of that here for you as we can, uh, and to spread good word and successes and initiatives from other parts of the globe that we both can find inspiration in. Thanks for everything you're doing. Stay in touch. Work for a world beyond war.